Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing a protein and fiber rich instant breakfast recipe for weight loss. This instant gluten free and vegan breakfast recipe is perfect for those with health issues like thyroid, PCOS and diabetes. The high fiber and protein helps to keep you feel fuller for a longer time and thus helps in weight loss. This quick and easy high protein breakfast can be enjoyed by the whole family or by those who are looking for a high protein post workout meal or for those who are on a weight loss journey. So without wasting much time, let's get started with the recipe. I have already chopped about 7 to 8 shallots also known as small onions. I prefer to use shallots in my recipes as they are a good source of vitamin A, C and folate along with minerals like iron, calcium and potassium. 1 4th inch of sliced ginger, 2 green chilies chopped. You can increase or decrease green chilies to suit your taste. A sprig of curry leaves and a handful of coriander leaves chopped. Into a bowl, I am adding in 1 cup poha. I am using locally sourced poha which is the thick variety made from Kerala matta rice. However, you can use any variety of poha you have at hand. Add in some water and soak the poha for about 2-3 to three minutes. If you are using the thin variety of poha, do not soak it for longer time. Just add in the poha into the water and squeeze out the water immediately and keep it aside. For those who are using thick variety of poha like I am using, you may need to soak for about 2-3 to three minutes and then squeeze out the water and keep it on a strainer. Now keep this aside. Heat a pan, add in 1 tablespoon wood pressed groundnut oil or any locally sourced wood pressed oil. Once the oil is heated, add in half teaspoon mustard seeds, 1 third teaspoon jeera, 1 fourth teaspoon ajwain also known as carom seeds, 1 fourth teaspoon somf also known as fennel seeds and once all this splutters, add in a handful of peanuts and 1 teaspoon urad dal. Reduce the flame to the lowest and lightly roast the peanuts and urad dal. And once they are roasted, add in the sliced shallots. Now instead of shallots, you can also use half of an onion chopped. Add in curry leaves, ginger and green chilies and give this a stir. Remember the flame is on the lowest. Once the shallots are transparent, add in half teaspoon turmeric powder, one third teaspoon Kashmiri chilli powder, half teaspoon garam masala, Add in 2.5 tablespoon roasted sattu flour. This is the ingredient which makes this upma high protein. For those who are new to sattu, sattu is one of the best summer coolant. It's rich in protein, fiber and it is the flour made from roasted chana dal. Now if you don't have sattu at hand, then you can substitute with basin flour, also known as chickpea flour. Add in pink Himalayan salt as needed, half teaspoon jeera powder, a small piece of hing also known as asafoetida. Now if you don't have a raw hing at hand you can use asafoetida powder. On low flame lightly roast it for about a minute or two so that the sattu and the spices gets lightly roasted and the raw flavor of the spices are diminished. Squeeze in one whole lemon, add in 3 tablespoon water and give it a mix. Again add in another 3 tablespoon water and mix well. It should come into a creamy consistency. Now allow it to boil and then add in the soaked poha and mix well. It will be slightly sticky in the beginning. Mix it really well and then add in half cup poha which is not soaked and mix it really well. So the extra moisture in the upma will be absorbed by the half cup poha which is not soaked. Mix it really well and in about 2 minutes the excess moisture will be absorbed and the upma will become non-sticky. Add in some chopped coriander leaves. Mix well for about 2-3 to three minutes and as you can see the upma is now non-sticky and is ready to serve. It is the extra half cup unsoaked poha which helps to absorb the remaining moisture and makes the poha upma non-sticky. Once done, serve the high protein sattu poha upma into a serving plate and enjoy with pickle as a filling, wholesome and protein rich breakfast, lunch or dinner. This recipe serves two portions. So guys do try this healthy high protein poha upma recipe.
and don't forget to send me pictures on Facebook and on Instagram. Don't forget to like, comment and share this video with family and friends. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.